дугаарыг хүрэхэд бэлэн боллаа. За манай өнөөдөр энэ зочноор зураг гэрэл зурагчин Ашир Сведенский оролцож байгаа маа ингээд та бүхэнд ярилцлагаа өргий. За good evening. Good evening. And can I please introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, my name is Ashir Sведенский. Um, I'm a freelance photographer, having been, have been so for the past uh, mm-hmm. five years now. Mm-hmm. Um, I started my career uh, as a military photographer in the Israeli army. Mm-hmm. I served for three years, photograph in different fields, mostly documentary of the struggle of the soldiers. Mm-hmm. Um, after that, I became uh, mostly a PR photographer, mm-hmm. worked in advertisement, uh, both personally, both for companies, um, worked in journalism as much as I could. Mm-hmm. Um, and ever since then, I'm, I'm trying to travel as much as I can, do projects as much as I can. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's it for so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, lo- uh, how long have you been here and then uh, your project in Mongolia about? Uh, this is my second time in Mongolia. Mm-hmm. Uh, this trip was a way longer trip than the last one. I've been traveling this time for three months. I spent most of my time on this trip in uh, Bayulgi, which is West Mongolia, mm-hmm. Western Mongolia, the Kazakh part of Mongolia. Mm-hmm. I uh, also traveled a bit in the Gobi, uh, Hovsgul province, all the way to the Tzatan last year. Mm-hmm. Um, but as I said before, this year I focused entirely on the Kazakh people, on, on Ulgi, and, um, and the really interesting culture. You said uh, you had projects in Bayan yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really interested about it. Well, what project? What kind of? Um, at first, when I got to Bayulgi, in my mind, I had a couple of projects I wanted to do. I was really interested in Islam, I was really interested in the eagle hunters mm-hmm. culture, and a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. But once I got to Bayulgi, I, I decided I want to focus myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to do a project as good as I can. And the project I decided to go for was eagle hunters. Mm-hmm. So at first, I did everything right. I went to the Eagle Festival, which is on the beginning of October. I was the first one to be there, the last one to leave. Try to photograph as much pictures as I can to try maybe tell the story of Eagle Hunters. But at the end of this shoot, I felt like something was missing. Not missing in the way that the shots are not good or not interesting. Those, those are Eagle Hunters and it's really amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I felt like I'm doing the same shots I've seen before different variations of them, uh, different light, different setups, so and so. But yet again, I felt it was a bit too similar. And as a photographer, I kind of feel like I'm missing it. Mm-hmm. So I started thinking, it took me a while, how can I shoot eagle hunters um, in a different way? How can I shoot them uh, different lenses, different um, s- things, doing maybe not in a hunt, maybe only in this? I, I was trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. How can I find a story that I haven't heard before here? Mm-hmm. And after a while, it just hits me that every conversation I had in the past two years, since the first time I was here in Mongolia until today, mm-hmm. about Mongolia, Mongolian peop- people of Mongolia culture-wise and um, reputation-wise, mm-hmm. it's hard to finish the sentence of what is Mongolia today. We know what Mongolia was in the Genghis Khan period, in the communist period, in the Manchu imp- period. But modern Mongolia is relatively young. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, maybe that's my story. What will be the future of this culture? What will be five years from now? What will be the future? What will it be? Will it exist? Yeah, Yeah, will it still be a nomadic country? So at that moment, I realized that the most interesting thing this time Mm -hmm. is not the eagle hunters, the old respected eagle hunters, but Mm -hmm. basically the kids, Mm -hmm. the newcomers, the the new generation. So I thought, That'd be the end story. That'll be the, the tale I want to tell. Mm-hmm. So I went out. I took my guide, my, uh, my driver, everything I, I needed. And uh, we went and we shot uh, the first kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name was uh, Irka Bulan. He was 13 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, we shot him on mountaintops. A uh, boy? A boy, yeah. And um, he was just beginning his training. He was really young. They usually start between 12 to 13, the training. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when I shot him, I focused on that. We went to the mountains, we took his dad as well, uh, and we shot him train with his dad, and sending the eagle, calling the eagle, practicing it. Mm-hmm. And for me, after that, I was like, this is an interesting project. For me to have those pictures, for me, just set the brick, all right, this is a go, let's keep going this. Mm-hmm. And then I said, all right, I have a 13-year-old kid just beginning, what do I want next? And we found the youngest eagle hunter in Mongolia, a uh, 14-year-old that um, 
started training when he was eight, which is kind of weird, but he was already an eagle hunter in the age of 14. What? Uh, already professional already, hunter. Already hunting, yeah. Uh, we sh his name was Bach Birgen. Mm -hmm. uh, he was 14 years old. We shot him uh, quite far from his home. Mm -hmm. uh, he took us all the way to the second highest mountain in Mongolia, where he used to hunt. Mm -hmm. And the scene was just beautiful. You have those cliffs, you have the huge snowy mountains in the back that you can actually see the clouds on the top. So we sat him down, we let him pet the eagle, we let him, let him just hunt and call it. It was really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of this shoot, I said, all right, I have enough time, I have enough budget mm -hmm. um, to shoot one more kid. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? And I was thinking about, I can have another kid who's training or in the midsection, maybe a hun another hunter who's a little bit older. And then I was thinking, well, the entire project is actually talking about what will be the future of mm -hmm. eagle hunters in the next yeah. five years. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, because this project is a mix between a documentary mm -hmm. to an art project, I said, all right, I want to have my own perspective. What would I like to see in five years? Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it a lot, but and I was said, why not have an eagle huntress? Yeah. Because I think that might be that's going to be a really interesting th way to look at it, mm -hmm. um, to, to change the direction for a modern style, more feminist, more strong. Mm -hmm. And we were look, went looking for it, uh -huh. um, and we found a girl named uh, Sholpan, uh -huh. who was 13 years old. She girl? was a dark, yeah, go girl, yeah, mm -hmm. and she was the daughter of an eagle hunter. Told him about the idea. We told him about the project. Mm -hmm. And he was really into it, he was really excited. We shot her a couple of days mm -hmm. uh, in different mountaintops, uh, hunting and trying to work with an eagle. Mm -hmm. And for me it was really amazing because if I compare her to the first kid we shot, which is also 13 years old and also just starting his training, she was a lot more comfortable with the eagle. She wasn't scared of petting him and working with him. Mm -hmm. And for me it was really seeing a dream come true. Like, I had that in mind, I would love to see that, and would love to photograph it and tell this. Mm -hmm. And actually seeing it, for me, was like a really strong experience. Mm -hmm. And for me, the sum summary of the entire project was just on the last 20 minutes before we had to go back. Mm -hmm. I sat down with the father and the guide, like, only us, and I wanted to ask him two questions. I okay. said, can I ask you two questions, but please just answer sincerely. Mm -hmm. So, sure, sure, sure. How was it for you to see your daughter with the Kazakh costume and the mm -hmm. eagle and calling and, and the mountains. Like a real eagle huntress. Like yeah. a real eagle huntress. Uh -huh. And he said, oh, it was good, it was good, it was good. All right, and seriously, would you ever consider uh, training her? Mm -hmm. Would you ever consider making her a real eagle huntress? Mm -hmm. And I was expecting a funny maybe or a honest no. Mm -hmm. and, and his answer was really important for me because he thought about it for a couple of minutes and then he said, until two years ago, my oldest son was the successor of the, of the culture. Mm -hmm. He was to, the one who was supposed to carry it on. Uh -huh. And um, he, g he, was, he went to the army, he became an officer. Mm -hmm. So he probably won't be back to, to do that. Mm -hmm. And I've and been th thinking about training her for a very long time now. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I'll never uh, offer it to her unless she asks for it. Uh -huh. Because it should come from her. And for me, that was like the answer for the project, mm -hmm. because that was it. I was thinking, would it be possible for women to be the, the future figure hunters in Mongolia? Mm -hmm. And basically, the, his answer g told me that it's possible, mm -hmm. just a matter of them going and taking it for mm -hmm. it, fighting for it. And I don't know, for me, it was like a really nice project, and it was really interesting to have that ending, and not just, uh, oh, you are just dreaming about it. <laughs>